Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I shave my face. Shaving your face is amazing. It's going to brighten and smooth out your skin and leave it flawless even if you have acne. Before we get into this video, hello, my name is Audrey. I make skincare, hair, and other beauty videos. So if you guys like that type of content, make sure you subscribe. Also, check the links in the description for all of the products mentioned and used in this video. Video. The very first thing I do before I shave my face is I wash my face thoroughly. I need to have a completely clean face when I'm shaving just to ensure that I don't break out or get any irritation. The next step is to steam my face. I actually just started steaming my face before shaving recently and it is extremely effective. So it basically just helps to soften both my skin and the hair on my face, which makes shaving a lot easier and almost lighter on my skin. So I just do this for six to seven minutes. Next, I apply jojoba oil. Through trial and error, I found that shaving on moisturized or oiled up skin is a lot easier and less abrasive than shaving on a dry or wet face for me at least so I like to use jojoba oil because this oil suits my skin now this is what my skin looks like before shaving it's almost been two months since I last shaved my face I shave my face every one to two months and as you can see the hair isn't crazy visible but it's definitely there so this should answer your question which I know all of you have of whether or not your hair grows back darker and faster after shaving and the answer as you can see is no. I like to wear one glove on the hand I use to hold my skin taut while I'm shaving because it helps me to get a better grip on my face, but honestly, I don't use this every time and it is definitely not necessary. Now for the fun part, it is time to shave, but first I'm gonna show you guys the razors I use. I use these razors from Amazon. This set comes with 40 razors and it's only $12. So let's just say I use one razor three times and now let's just say I use the razor about once a month. That means that I use four razors a year. All I'm trying to say is that this is a really good deal. So if you guys want to check it out, like these razors, I will link them in the description. Now I start shaving my face. With the hand that I have the glove on, I hold my skin taut. With the other hand, I shave in a gradual downwards motion. I'm sure you thought my face didn't look that hairy, but clearly there was a good layer of hair on my face, which is why you'd be surprised just how many of us can benefit from doing this, even those who never thought that they had hair on their face in the first place. Because the razor collects my hair pretty fast, I make sure to wipe it off continuously just to remove all of the oil, skin, and hair. Oh, and by the way, when you shave your face, you're not just shaving off the hair, you are also removing layers of dead skin. I've read that it can be up to 21 days of dead skin that can be removed when you get this professionally done through a process called dermaplaning by an actual dermatologist with a very sharp scalpel. But obviously I just do mine at home with a very gentle razor. So I don't think that I'm removing 21 days of dead skin. Needless to say, some dead skin is removed, which is why my skin looks and feels like silk after I'm done. I do have one pimple on my jawline and I personally am comfortable shaving over that only because I know that the pimple is completely under the surface at this point. So there's really no way for me to spread the bacteria from that pimple across my face. However, if I come across a pimple that has pus coming out of it, I will most definitely not shave over that because I don't want any of the bacteria from inside the pimple or from like the whitehead that might be put poking out, getting on the razor. So although I'm shaving my upper lip in this video, I'm only doing it for the sake of showing you guys how I would shave my upper lip if I were to do it. For some reason, the hair on my upper lip is the only hair on my face that will grow back faster if I shave it. So now I just use at-home wax strips and remove my upper lip hair that way. Moving on, I try to be really careful around my eyebrows. All I do is take some of the hair off of the top to shape them 
but honestly, I usually just get them threaded at a salon. Unfortunately, that's not possible right now, just considering the current situation. So I did take off a little bit more than I usually would have. Right after I'm done shaving, I apply aloe vera to my face. So I actually learned this from all of the eyebrow ladies that I have had over the years. Whether I'm getting my brows waxed or threaded, they always apply aloe vera gel on them afterwards just to like decrease the redness in my skin to reduce irritation or any potential irritation that I could have had. I leave it on my face for five minutes and then I rinse it off with cold water just to refresh my face. After rinsing everything off, I apply the banished oil on my face. This is a vitamin C serum. It's really effective to use a serum after you've shaved your face. So this is the one that I like to go with. However, when you are considering what products to use after you've shaved your face, just make sure you are taking into consideration your own skin type because obviously my skin is different from yours. The products I'm using may not work 100% the same for you. The next step is crucial, and this is how I clean my razor. First, I wipe any excess hair, skin, or oil, or whatever else could be on the razor off of the razor. Then I pour some rubbing alcohol into a cup, and I just put the razor into the cup let it sit for five minutes, and then it's good to go for the next time that I use it. And this is what my skin looks like after shaving. You can definitely tell my skin looks significantly brighter and smoother. This is an old Hollywood beauty hack, and it's why I have been doing it for so many years now. So I also wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like one day after shaving. I feel like this is super important to show because I don't want people to think that the results I get are temporary. Although you do have to care for your skin or I have to care for my skin in a very particular way after shaving to maintain these nice results, which I will get into in a minute. The results that I do have are amazing. So now for one of the most important parts of the video, this is how I care for my skin after shaving. First of all, a week after shaving, I do not use any harsh products on my face, period. As you guys know, I don't really use harsh products on my face anyway, but especially not in the week after shaving. So I'm talking no exfoliants, no facial cleansing brushes, nothing like that. I keep it very gentle and simple. Here are some examples of the gentle makeup removers that I use in the week following shaving my face. Also, these two cleansers are awesome options. On the left is the Youth to the People cleanser, and then on the right is the CeraVe facial cleanser. Finally, for moisturizers, these are two of my go-to options. On the left, I have jojoba oil, and then I also have the Pharmacy Daily Greens moisturizer. So another huge tip is to wear a lot of sunscreen in the week after shaving. Because I just shaved off all of the hair and some of the dead skin from my face, my skin is much more open and available for the sun to burn. But to be honest, I just try to avoid sun exposure at all costs in the week after shaving by wearing a hat and sunglasses anytime I leave the house. Finally, absolutely no makeup one day after shaving. There's just no question at this point if 
if I ignore this step, I 100% will break out. Sometimes I think I can get away with wearing makeup right after shaving, but I will always get a pimple the next day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to check the links in the description for all of the products mentioned and used in this video. If you guys would like to check out a video where I show you how I do my at-home facial routine, I will put that at the top right of the screen. And if you guys would like to check out a video showing you what happened to my face as I put ice on it every day for a week, I will put that at the bottom right of the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.